today it's so beautiful we're about to invade somebody's privacy miss nova stevens oh she's so beautiful you're gonna see that for yourself my people <laughs> All right, my check, my check, my people. Today it's going to be a beautiful day, amazing day. We're going to invade the privacy of a supermodel. Okay, I'm gonna go to her house. We're gonna go see her training. We're gonna go see her do her makeup. We even gonna go see her do her hair. She has allowed us to see some of the stuff that she does during the day. Her name is Nova Stevens. She's a supermodel and she is going to be the next Miss Universe Canada, my people. Miss Universe! Ah, <laughs> oh, Nova, my goodness. Well, nice how are you? you? Oh, you're looking so oh, thank beautiful. Thank you. I'm about to go work out. Uh -huh. so. so we're about to invade your day, okay? <laughs> Are you ready for a ride? Ready for a rocky We're ride? We're about to invent your day. All right, let's do it. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh. So my trainer should be here somewhere. Yeah. Um, where is he? Where is Spencer? Oh! oh! <laughs> Spencer. Oh my gosh, he scared me. <laughs> nice to see you, trainer. Yes, thank you. Let's, uh, let's verify those. Uh, are you going to take that off? You have to take it off, eh? I'm pretty, you can't be looking like this I'm, and then you're like, you're fully clothed. It might affect the lighting. I'm pretty oh, white under here. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. That's so you'll, you'll get a chance to tan a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But we want to see your hotness, though. Like, how are we going to believe you're hot if you don't show us your six packs? What, what about the face? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wow, so you're working out with Nova? Yeah. Wow, what kind of uh, stuff do you make? her go through uh well there's it's pretty much full body workouts every time uh -huh. she's not trying to like you know bulk up or anything so we're yeah. doing higher repetitions a lot of body weight stuff yeah wow that sort of thing mm -hmm. amazing okay yeah. let's set up let's set it up then okay my people so we're about to exercise like supermodel style you know it's like you know this is how supermodels be exercising you you want to become a supermodel yo check out the hard work okay it's, just, it's like you don't just wake up one day and become a supermodel miss universe no man you work for that stuff man yeah so check it out yeah maybe take the shoes off yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> and i think yeah Check out those legs! Oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay, so this is hard, man. Yeah, she trains pretty hard. Yeah. 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 We aim for like a few times a week, and then she comes to my boot camp sometimes as well. So yeah, pretty hard workouts. Yeah. So people who watch from home, like just watching from television, mm -hmm. this is not gonna happen from watching on television. My no, people. you gotta you gotta build up <laughs> little by little. Yeah. You don't want to just jump in too crazy at the start, but she's been at it for a while, so wow. that's why she's able to go pretty quick now. Okay, how are you feeling? How oh my god. Dead already? So dead. <laughs> you can feel my heart, Louise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks easy, but I promise you it's not. Well, I was here. It's so not easy. <laughs> right? I'm so glad you're the one doing it. And it never gets I'm easier. I'm holding the mic. <laughs> Do you want to try? Hell's so no. you know what I'm feeling. Uh, two. One. <laughs> four. Two. <laughs> five. Three. Oh my goodness. Two more, two more. We got this. Yeah. Four. Are you a, are you a, are you a, that way, that way, that way, that way. No wonder you look so amazing. Told you it's hard work. Wow. I would say 50% genetics, 50% hard work. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you're given the tools, but now you have to like use them, know exactly. how to use them. You can't take exactly. it back. Some people may have yeah. it and then not use it. And then what's exactly. going to happen? No results, right? Exactly. This is Sylvia, Hi so guys. we call her like the artist. Yes. Sylvia, tell us how easy it is to do like 
Nova's makeup. So easy. <laughs> so easy. So easy. <laughs> well, you know what? She does have perfect skin. So it's not a hard job. But I will say that um, it's a passion of mine doing um, darker skin makeup because it's something that's really hard to find out there. I know that Nova has shared with me her struggles in the past and that must be really difficult, especially as somebody who is in her industry, to not know whether you will have somebody who can actually do your makeup the way oh, you yeah, like it. you show up on set. All right, my people, today we're sitting with such an amazing individual, oh. Nova Stevens. Thank you so much for receiving us. No, Louise, thank you for having me. In your beautiful space. Oh and showing us how some of your day goes and you're so beautiful so you're Stop. <laughs> you're one of the uh, finalists yes. for miss universe canada yes oh man it's happening in um three months yeah august 11th to august 18th it's uh it's been quite a journey i've been so blessed to have people like yourself and others who are just supporting me and believing in me which is encouraging me to even you know push forward and really give it my all this year. Wow. Yeah. So you're such a determined person because you have started from so far away. Your journey started in Sudan. Mm -hmm. You actually were separated from your family at six years old. Yes. Um, I came to Canada when I was six years old. My family is actually still in, uh, my mom, mother is in South Sudan and my dad and my siblings are in Ethiopia and I haven't seen them for the past 20 years. It's. Oh. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. I didn't realize how long it's been until you asked me because I just never really dwelled on the things that I couldn't control. I mean, I do want to see my family, but as you know, South Sudan is very war-torn. It's not a safe place to live or visit. So I'm just waiting for that opportunity for me to go back home and reunite with my family. Absolutely. But you're making them so proud because you're doing something so worthy in Canada and the whole <laughs> world is going to see you. I'm trying. Do they know what you do? Do they have an idea? Um, they know that I model. They don't really know about Miss Universe Canada just because pageantry is not really a thing in African culture. And I come from a very conservative background. My father is actually a pastor. <laughs> And, um, you know, they're all about education, which is great, but coming to this world, you realize that there are other avenues to success. You don't have to go to school to be successful. You can follow the arts. You can be an entrepreneur. We just have and so many opportunities. And you're still learning so much yeah. from it anyways. You can get your education from yeah. many venues. It doesn't necessarily have to be mm -hmm. in, like, a school. Exactly. You know, because right now you're so educated anyways. <laughs> I feel like life is the greatest um, teacher, yeah. you know, having to live on my own at the age of 15. I've had to learn a lot of things on my own. Yeah. And I, so how is it when you're land in Canada and you're by yourself and you're in this society, you have no idea, like, how do you even start and, you know, how do you even dream? I feel that my dreams have been what kind of kept me alive. You know, I always saw the light at the end of the tunnel. So knowing that there's always going to be better things ahead, I've always just had that outlook in life, just remaining positive regardless of whatever hurdles life threw at me. I have to thank my angels on earth as well as, you know, in heaven. I do think that when God takes something away from you, he replaces that with other things. I consider my friends my family. You know, not having my immediate family here, I've been blessed to have people who I can call family, even though I'm not blood related to them. They have treated me like their own family, so I'm very grateful for that. Nice. Yeah. So when you came to Canada, did you speak any English? Oh, God, no, I don't. I mean, no, I think I knew like a few words here yeah. and there, but yeah. I was young. Uh -huh. So when you come to a country at a young age, yeah. you, you adapt a lot quicker Absolutely. than an adult. So yeah. that's probably what why. What about your like, uh, natural language, your native language? How, did you forget it by now? No, surprisingly, I you haven't. Have it, eh? I do. What? And I'm so you great. You a shout out in, 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 in your language. In your, OK. Um, <laughs> Malik, you're telling you what I'm going to do. 
<laughs> it's definitely not as fluent as English, uh -huh. but I have to keep it because otherwise I wouldn't be able to communicate with my family. Absolutely. Yeah. You, you, you have to stay uh, visualizing that reunion. Exactly. Oh my goodness. I pray for I the day. I want to be there for that reunion. We can, maybe we'll, we'll, oh, let's go maybe back we'll together. Maybe we'll go back to Africa <gasps> together. That would be such oh, a thing. Oh, that would make my heart, wow. Louise. Okay, I'm going to put it out there. How do you envision the reunion? Let's visualize okay. it. And let's also ask the universe to Please. make this possible. Yeah, okay. I just, I see myself landing just on the, the motherland, just that soil, and I just see myself bending down, and I think I would literally kiss the ground. I know it sounds cliche, and but I think I would kiss the ground that birthed me, because that's my native country. I'm so grateful for Canada. Canada has given me so many opportunities, but South Sudan will always be a part of me, just because all of my family's there, so I could never have that detachment from it, no matter how long I've been separated from them or how long it's been since I've been there. I can never forget that place. Yeah. That's taking care of my family right now. But I would, I vision my family just standing there waiting for me with open arms, definitely tears for sure. I, oh God, I think lots of tears. Oh. I can't wait for that day. Yeah. Wow. So it's going to be so amazing when they see you being successful mm -hmm. and being loved by all these people, all, all these photographers and medias out there. I mean, it has to be something really great for them to see. I think my drive comes from them just really wanting to help them and because you know how it is back home. You are the provider of anyone who's back home. And sometimes that can be quite stressful because they don't understand that it can be difficult out here, especially living in Vancouver. It's very expensive, as we know. But they sometimes think that money, you know, comes from the tree. And I'm like, where's my money tree? I would like to have it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I think knowing that they're struggling, that's really what's driving me to really just try my best and give everything my all. In the end, whatever happens, happens. But at least I can say I give it my all. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, a lot of uh, a lot of people may come to Canada. A lot of uh, yeah. young Africans may come to Canada, and they may lose their way mm -hmm. on on the path of mm -hmm. trying to make make it yeah how did you stay so sane so beautiful so natural and like you're still focused and driven you know I always I always ask myself that question and I would have to attribute all of my success to the universe or God you know whatever you want to call it I feel that God has really been taking care of me how do you call God in your language Good. Koth, uh -huh. um, K-O-U-T-H. K-O-U-T-H. Uh -huh. Yeah, Koth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel that God has really been taking care of me and just guiding me. I've been through a lot that you would think that I, would, I could have headed in, in any direction besides this one. But no, God has definitely steered me in the right direction. And again, my family has been a motivator as well. You know, hearing their pain, like I, I can't just overlook what they're going through. So... Nice. Those two things, yeah. And what are your hopes for like um, the political situation uh, to improve? Do you see it improving? Mm. And in your lifetime, do you see yourself going back to Africa, living in uh, one African country? Oh, definitely. Yeah. I mean, Africa is. The, we all come from Africa. You know, we're all African, regardless of shade. That's where humanity began, right? I definitely do see myself going back home. I would love to go this year if my mother gets out of the UN camp, which is, in, um, which is where she's in right now in South Sudan. And I would love to give back in any way that I can. I dream of having an organization where I can help kids who are unfortunate, kids who have no families, you know, pursue their passions, whatever that may be, because I realize that support is the biggest thing. When you have someone that just believes in you, that just motivates you even more. And thankfully I've had people in Canada who have believed in me and who have encouraged me to pursue my passions and, um, yeah, I want to open an or, or sorry, I want to open an organization just to support kids Very and give nice. provide them mentorship. So let's yeah. shout out to some of those people who have been really great to you. Oh, of yeah. course, yes. <laughs> the less they go on. Yeah, um, yeah, the people who have been really great to you, who have supported you, and especially on this journey for being Miss Universe. I mean, it, it takes a lot of money, it takes a lot of sponsors mm -hmm. as well. So it requires a lot of support and you have to go in another city, you know? Yeah. So like, who are these people? Who are your angels? Oh, my angels. Thank you, know? <laughs> I would say the people of Crescent Heights High School because I actually grew up in Calgary as well. 
Um, Calgary, Cal Alberta. Alberta. <laughs> yeah. My teachers, they, till this day, I talk to them. My principal, Mr. Rajan, I still talk to him. My teacher, Mrs. Christy Hamilton, like my coaches in high school, they were really, they became my life coaches and they, in a way, became my parents as well. They always looked after me. Um, so them, I would say, they kind of motivated me and supported me and led me to where I am today. But during my journey of Miss Universe Canada, I would have to thank my sponsor, which is um, Richard Miller. He owns an organization called Keep Six in Toronto. And what they do, and I think it's such a great thing that what they do, they are a nonprofit that provides resources to kids, who, young men who have been incarcerated. Because as we know, when you're incarcerated, people just forget about you. Society kind of puts you on the back burner and just kind of you know leaves you to fence for yourself yeah but they rehabilitate these kids and you know give them faith in themselves and society again to have them lead more positive lives so he's been one of my sponsors and then i have dory diamonds who will be making my beautiful diamonds <laughs> um i also have a junior's barbershop which i'll be going to later on for my photo shoot they'll be doing my hair throughout the pageant oh we're gonna see that yes we are <laughs> and then i also have Oh no, sorry. Getting so many sponsors. There's so many we more. We can't name all of you, but definitely. But I do have to name this one because they're creating my trust. <laughs> Devote. Oh yeah, so then um, I have my dress designer who oh. will be making my beautiful evening wow. gown. Oh. We can't wait to see oh, those Oh my gosh. It's at Devote Ghosh. She, uh -huh. um, her name is Jennifer and she will be helping me create my beautiful gown that you'll see me wear on August 18th and 11th. Yes. Yeah. So the competition is in Toronto on August 11th to the 18th. Yes. Nice. Yes. So me, I usually go to Toronto just for the Caribana. Eh? Ah, <laughs> jump and wave. Huh? <laughs> you know, it. jump you and know, wave. Just yourself. for the Caribana, man. So like, I don't know. You I know? think it falls. Wait, I Caribana think, is. I think um, it's a little bit before. It's the first weekend of August. The Caribana oh, usually. Oh. Okay. So maybe hmm. miss it a little bit. Well, you could say a bit longer. Yeah, you could. You could. <laughs> so, is Vancouver your favorite Canadian town? You know what? I would have to say yes. Yeah, yeah. Like this, this place is just magnificent. I can't even. Oh my god! I can't even understand how beautiful this place could exist in Canada. You know, Canada's always stereotype as being cold and just full of snow, but people don't realize there's so much beauty in British Columbia. Yeah. This is why it's called beautiful BC. I know. I always wondered. I'm like, why are they it's called like a that? hidden side of Canada. You it's wouldn't even gem. believe that you're still in Canada. When Honestly, you come to especially when it's summertime. Yeah. We have the ocean. Yeah. We have the mountains and beaches. Yeah. And, oh. It's so beautiful. It's so. Great no, this to is where I want to raise my future kids. Absolutely. Yeah. <gasps> okay. Speaking no, of there's kids. no kids. There's <laughs> no kids right now. I couldn't compete if I had kids. There's no kids. So I know that in the Sudanese culture, it's a little bit like in the Rwandan culture, you really respect the cow. Mm -hmm. And yes. if somebody wants to marry you, they're going to have to bring cows. To yeah, the they have to pay dowry. Uh -huh. So <laughs> it's still going to be cows. I don't, I don't think it's cows anymore. I think it's um, an equivalent of what a cow would cost. So I know, I think... In, in our culture, a cow is between like 500 to to $1,000. Mm -hmm. And I think it varies how much a man pays for you, depending on if you're educated, you get more, they pay more. If you are tall, they pay more. If you're beautiful, they pay more. Yeah. And the family So you definitely, like, <laughs> you'll cost a million cows. <laughs> Oh, dear husband, I, I will have to find a millionaire because otherwise, who's going to pay a million dollars? Well, you definitely have to marry a billionaire. You're in a billion dollar industry, though. You're right, so there's you're right. a lot of billionaires in your industry. I think I would help him. I would pay half, you yeah. know, because it's going back to my family anyways. <laughs> and I feel like it's kind of an old tradition and it makes you feel like you're, you're being bought. Actually, you in our mean? culture, it's more like they're thanking your family for mm. raising oh, like such that. a great woman oh. so the the that that the the symbolic it's symbolic it's not really like oh. they're buying the bride I never thought about it's it like they're way. recognizing the parents that you did such a great mm. job and you raised this woman and now yeah. she's going to become like the mother the matriarch of the next family i never thought about it like that, that. That's so we are recognizing and then they give the cows because the cows are going to create more babies 
oh. as the women have more babies create more milk for the children yeah so it's kind of i like the cows idea. you know no now that you've explained it that way i'm like it makes sense mm-hmm. but before i was like oh, they want to sell me off like i'm <laughs> some kind of piece of meat but I get it. You're yeah, right. It's yeah. a it's a um, symbol of gratitude. Yeah. Like, to the parents. Yeah. You did such a great yeah. job. And so with you, I mean, it's <sighs> it's going to be over a million cows. Because <laughs> it, it's so You're amazing so the job that they've done with you. And then what you have done for yourself as well. Yeah. That has to be recognized. Yeah. You know. And the man has to be worthy. You know what I mean? For sure. Yeah. So the, I think they're also testing the worthiness of the mm, men, right? Exactly. Does he think I'm worth it? Yeah. Oh. Oh, well, thank you for that. <laughs> I've definitely changed my um my outlook on what get your that cows, man. Yeah, yeah, get your cow. <laughs> How many cows do you want? You know, culture is a is, is if you're valuable, they say. Uh, actually, the way to say this girl is such a valuable girl, she's at least a hundred cows. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. How much is a cow in your culture? I don't know. I don't know, because they're usually not supposed to sell them. Right. So right. I don't know how much it is oh, right gotcha, now. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, But it's like, you would rather not actually purchase. Mm-hmm. You know, you would rather actually give the actual cow mm-hmm. and have that cow have babies. Right. In parallel to the family also growing, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you can see the cow story and the, the family story. Mm-hmm. And then maybe your kids will feed on that cow's kids. Exactly. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> That's so funny. So what would you tell the young people who are watching? What would you tell them? You know, I would just say, just continue to pursue your dreams. You know, life is so short. We often think that we have all this time, but after you're done high school, time just kind of flies by. I'm like, whoa, it's been almost 10 years since I've graduated. That's crazy. That's really insane. Pursue your dreams, even if it seems that it's far-fetched or it's far away. Just believe, because if you don't believe in yourself, there's no way that I can believe in you or Louise can believe in you because you have to exude that confidence and that faith, Absolutely. you know? So yeah. continue to pursue. Yeah. Nothing is impossible. Absolutely. No. And when you, when you go somewhere and they don't like you, because you've obviously faced a lot of places oh, where sure. that rejection... Oh. You know, how do you rise up from that rejection and keep going to the next one? I always say that no is an acronym for um, new opportunities. Yeah. So if somebody says, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Busy woman. Yes. Yeah. If somebody tells me no, I just say, you know, thank you. That just means I have new opportunities coming my way. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kids, you heard that, eh? New opportunities. No is new opportunity. Exactly. All right. Right. Now, yeah. I think we had a, such a great conversation. I thank you so, so much. No, thank you. So we're just going to see you doing your hair. And then yes. we would love to follow you through the night and see how you party. <laughs> <laughs> I know you want to <laughs> I think you want to party. <laughs> exactly. We'll do another show where we're party. You know Let's what? After you win the celebration oh party. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So we should schedule that out. Yeah, so my after party will be here first, you guys. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. No, it's on. Yeah, we're so doing we'll it. just see you doing your hair, and then we'll get out of your day. Sounds Let good. Let you keep on the busy life. Sounds good. To her hair. <laughs> um, so we are going to be doing a number two. Uh huh. Um, and a then, number two. Yeah. What's a number two? <laughs> <laughs> um, pro- probably half of the length uh-huh. of what she has right now. Uh huh. And then we're just gonna line up everything, mm-hmm. clean it up. Nothing too crazy. Very nice. Yeah. So, do you have to look good like you look good right now? <laughs> if you're a hairdresser, like, like you know, your clients have no, to see you barbers, looking good right now. Oh, oh, yeah. Barber, eh? Completely different things. Okay. So, oh, so hairdresser and barber is two different things. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Oh, what's the difference? Um, a hairdresser is more long, long hair, oh. scissor work. Um, barber is more scissors straight razors oh, so it's because she has like a very nice short haircut yeah yeah that you do the barber thing yeah oh very nice mm. so how do you feel doing the hair of the next miss universe canada uh it's exciting yeah, yeah. yeah. it's cool to have the when opportunity you, when you see her on tv winning you'll be like i, I did. did that <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Oh, 
thank you so much, Luis. Thank you. So thank you. Mwah. 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 Thank you, you so much. Yes, I will see you. Thank you, you eh? Okay. All right, my people. It's been such a beautiful day, man. We're done. Nova saw her doing her hair. We'll see her again, hopefully soon. It's been such a beautiful day, my people. Oh, let's go back to our studio and cook the show up, put everything together and show you what it is to spend a day with a supermodel, Miss Universe Canada Supernova. Thank you, my people.